Welcome to this introductory course on R programming language. The R programming language is a statistical language that's used for data science and other statistical applications. And it was first developed in 1990 uh, for statistical programming. It's a free and open source language that's widely used for statistical modeling in academia as well as in industry. It's available for platforms including Windows, Mac, and Linux, and is one of the most popular languages for data science. Along with Python and Java, it is the, one of the dominant languages for data science because of its flexibility and the widely available packages that are used for complex analysis, allowing for multivariate analysis, multiple correspondence analysis, clustering, and other such data science techniques. RStudio is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and it allows a nice interface for programmers to create applications, view output of lines of code, view the environment and variables, display plots in a nice fashion, debug code if you have a large amount of code, install packages, and see the history and a file list for all projects. It encompasses all of the things a developer would need to develop robust applications and develop uh, scripts that can be used in a quick fashion. Now, to get R and R Studio, for Windows, you can visit this link here. And for Mac, you can visit this link. It's important to note that for Mac, you'll have to actually follow some of the instructions because in order to run plots, you will need to download the version of X Quartz. For R Studio, once you have R, you can download the latest version by coming to this link. And you can download the version for your computer. Let's take a virtual look at, let's take a look at what R Studio is. We have a basic screen here and let's see what this will look like. So this is what the R Studio looks like. Now I've adapted this to my personal preference with the blue background and white letters. Uh, by default, it comes with a white background and black letters or blue letters. Uh, so you can customize it however you want and we're not gonna go into that here. But we're just gonna give you an overview of what the different sections are. So the first section over here to the bottom left is the console. And this is where we can start typing in certain pieces of code. So for example, we could do six, six plus six and get an answer of 12. And the commands that we will do from this point forward, you could do in the console. Uh, more likely, you're gonna use the script area up here in the top left. And what we're gonna do is we'll type our commands in here and then run different lines of code. And you'll see that in the next module because we can run a particular line using the run command, or we can do it with multiple lines, uh, where, for example, we could do 6 plus 6 and run that line of code and get 12. And we'll also show you a little bit later that we could do a second line of code, 5 plus 5, and run both lines of code, just highlighting them and clicking run, and both lines of code will run. In the top right section, we have some tabs. We have the environment, history, and connections. The environment is the one that we're most concerned with right now because it's going to tell us all the variables and all the data objects that are currently loaded. When you first start with R, you may not have any particular data variables or data objects loaded in, so this might be blank. But as you begin to create variables, you'll see them populate. You can also view a data set by clicking on the little table to the right of it or inspecting it by using the magnifying glass. The history section here is going to give you a series of commands that you have already run. So this gives you a kind of an idea of what has been run so far if you wish to examine or rerun any parts of code. And connections will be any type of connections to uh, network connections that you may have opened. But again, we're not going to be doing that in these modules. In the bottom right, we have five tabs. Uh, the first one I'm going to focus on is the packages, and you'll learn about packages a little bit later in the modules. Um, but these are different libraries that are, can be loaded into the system so that you can run or use certain functions, let's say matrix functions or data frame functions or other statistical functions. You can click on any one of these libraries to get more information about what they are. So you'll get a help. You'll see how it transferred us over to the help tab. And you can find out more information about any particular function that you wish. 
If you design any plots, the plots will appear in this plot section. I don't have any here right now, but we have a module specifically for plots a little bit later on. And you can export your plots uh, as an image or even as a PDF. And finally, we have a file which is kind of like a Windows Explorer or a graphical explorer of your directory so you can see what you have available in directories uh, that may be under your home directory or wherever your working directory is.